cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Tonight, uh, favorite son, Drew, my oldest son, is preparing our entree. And I'm going to let him do the talking here in a minute. He uh, caught some fish and is fixing it a couple different ways. Um, there's three pieces of chicken here that are for the non-fish eaters. And, uh, okay, so Drew, tell me how you fix that fish that you're putting in there, what kind of fish it is. All right, so okay. this is Wahoo. Uh -huh. uh, it was caught last Sunday, uh, about 60 miles offshore from Moorhead City. Um, and I just took a, basically a Wahoo steak and sliced it up into smaller slices and breaded it with um, any kind of bread or work, but I used Moss's seafood breader. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just frying it in some canola oil. And we put it on the black stone so the house doesn't smell like fish. Yep. And then, got some mahi, mahi mahi or dolphin or whatever. Some people call it different things, but same fish. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna grill it. Okay. Get this butter going. Is that what you've got the lemon for? Yeah. Perfect. But it will not take long to grill this fish. That's your temp on uh, low. Okay. It's on low. Okay. Just kind of drizzle some lemon juice. All it's got is basically Old Bay, but you can season it however you want. With whatever spice you like on yeah. fish. And is this, look, educate me. Is this something like you would do with um, sashimi tuna? Like you're going to do it kind of like that where it just pinks Sear up? Sear tuna? Yeah, but you would just sear it for like 30 seconds on each side and then Okay. And then eat it, but I'm gonna cook this all the way through. Okay. Well, now I'll try to leave it a little right rare, I guess. But, yeah. but tell the viewers how we'll know when it's finished when you get to that point. They'll want to know that. Uh, I mean, you can eat it raw, so oh. there's really no way to know. It's by your preference. Gotcha. So looks great. And we covered our part of the chicken there. And that chicken is marinated in Italian dressing from Olive Garden. Just three small breasts. Yep. I don't think this blackstone quite gets the grease hot enough for frying, but I mean, it'll fry it. Right. It'll just take it a longer time than, than a deep fryer. Than a deep fryer, mm -hmm. yeah. Generally, you want your frying grease at like 300 degrees. Okay. That's sizzling pretty good, but it should be sizzling more than that. Right. It smells delicious. Yeah. See, the fish is starting to get white on the bottom. That's how you want it right Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are a little thicker, I'm going to okay. keep going. And I'm a dill girl, so I could put fresh dill on mine, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the grilling process. Yep. But I like the lemon on it. And I read something somewhere that the lemon actually helps cook the fish through. I have no idea. Yeah. Just always put lemon on fish. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And you can grill the mahi too. I just. I mean the wahoo as well, but I had a friend tell me that it's better fried, so. Right. Well, we are in the South. We like things fried. That's right. Right. But, it should be tasty. The nicest thing about using this grill for me is that you don't get the smell in the, in the kitchen and it's pretty easy to clean up. Mm -hmm once you get the top of it seasoned. I have a lot of viewers ask me about that and I just tell them, look, go to Google because that's what we had to do to make mm -hmm. sure we were seasoning it right and cleaning it right. So if you are 
hashtag cutting up crew if you see this video and you're thinking about a blackstone they have all kinds of information on uh, youtube google about how to season it and how to clean it all right that's looking good right there I want to see that when you turn those over and then I'll stop this feed and then we'll mm. post pictures. How oh, that looks good. That is a steak, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, that thing's over an inch thick. Those two are. Those yeah. two are not. You're going to leave mine and yours a little bit on the rear side? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cooking, cutting it, keeping it real. Favorite son is doing chicken, wahoo, wahoo, oh, and mahi mahi. Yum! Can't wait. Thanks, pal. Appreciate mm -hmm. it.